This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey for excellent low poly hargans. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Dark Souls and the Lore Through. Hope everyone's enjoying this journey as much as I am. When we last left off Raven Renegade, we had made it to Sen's Fortress, and we're trying to ascend to the top. Um, I if we are able to make it to the boss at Sen's Fortress, I'll be very happy about that, but we'll find out. Um, what I do want to accomplish, though, today, if possible, and by today I mean, well, technically I guess it is today. It is after midnight. Um... <clears throat> I want to get the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring. And I want to see if we can find Siegmeier, even though I might have nerfed his uh, storyline for this. I'm not 100% sure. I did some searching on the wiki to see if I can figure it out. And it said that I had to talk to him before uh, we do the boulder change. But maybe we can still salvage that. I don't know. It said that it's near the shuttle. So right where the bolt we may come to across the first boulder trap. Okay. So we might be able to do it, I don't know, but in the off chance that we did nerf it, we'll still run to him again, I just think that we might not be able to get the ending we're hoping for. But we'll find out. And I think we pretty much talked about the majority of the lore for Sen's Fortress, so um, I do want to put a couple of bugs in y'all's ears, or I guess brains for that matter, like chaos bugs. <laughs> um, as we get closer to Anne Orlando, which will be our next destination um, after Sense Fortress is over and done with. Which I'm hoping we will get done tonight, but. You know, we, nev we never know in this game. Okay. So, welcome back to Dark Souls. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going down to the tar pits to try and rescue that. Get my 2,000 souls. I think I'll be okay without them. Thank you very much. <coughs> Still rocking the stone um, armor. Um, let me look at my stats really quickly. Equipment load is at 41. Okay. So, we definitely need to keep going up before we can put on any more stone armor. That is probably the boots. But we're in a decent place armor-wise right now. We are doing a decent enough job. Let's go ahead and just trigger that. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, oh, you went for it. You gave us power. And I gave you some power right back, dude. Stay down. Yeah, um, not, nothing was really dug up about the Serpent Warriors in the uh, Design Works uh, interview with Miyazaki. Oh, okay. I mean, the only reason I want to go back for my Bloodstain is to get my one humanity. But once we get the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring... Um, I have, we'll be able to do a little more farming. So even if we don't get to the top of Sense Fortress tonight, um, I'll do some farming off camera. Because that's what the gold, as I mentioned in the last episode, that's what the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring does, is it makes it easier to dig up items, most specifically humanity. I mean, I don't want to get too crazy. Um, I, once again, I do want to see about trying to help out Solaire's storyline. Oh, there's my bloodstain. How you doing? Um, that requires 30 humanity to give to um, Queen Lake's sister. But the other turn of the coin is I don't know how much is going to be in Anna Orlando, so. Oh, 
Oop, oopsie. Excuse me while I just go ahead and dodge that really quickly. Thank you very much. I'm hoping... The trick is that I would like... When we get to the bull trap, that's how we'll track down the covetous gold serpent ring. Um, we have to do some... Yeah, some tweaking. Let's go ahead and wait for him to hug that. There we go. I deserve that one. Oh, you gave that so much power. Stay down, sucker. Okay, okay we're okay. And to me, that kind of feels like one of the hardest traps. Yeah, you stay asleep, boy. I think I hit. Yeah, I think we might have nerfed that. See that glowing thing there? I think that's where Siegmeier was. It was on that ledge down there. Nope. Oh, oh. Serpent Knight. I played Heretic. I know about the Serpent Rider, boy. <laughs> oh, whoop, whoopsie. There's one. Really? Come on, that's cheap. Cool. Yeah, I think we have to do... This dude come running down here. Yeah, we're not gonna get a fistful, face full of boulder on this one, but we might be able to... Oh! So close. Let's just go ahead and look down here really quickly. Um, that's where we bit it last time. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to adjust the boulders one by one and we're going to look for the hole. Okay, that takes you to the sleeping one. Because there's a hole that needs to be filled up. And that will get us to the covetous gold serpent ring. So that will take it... Just wait a second. Let's see what happens. And we'll also have a way to, um, we'll also have a way to eventually stop the boulders entirely. We could go back down there if we really wanted to. Yeah, that's for, that's for Sieg Brew. Supposedly. So then let's, that will, whoop, oopsie. This one will go down here and around the corner. Let's go and explore this really quickly. Is that one been... Oh, you prick. Um, yeah, 
you keep hissing. Somewhere, here's where we go. Okay, so well, that will fill up. And that should take us, or maybe this is what we're looking for. Uh, we have a mimic. not what I was looking for. I think this is actually where we need to go. I don't know how far down we need to drop that, but maybe we can see if there's anything around here. Oh, hang on. Oh! That's what we're looking for. That's what killed us last time. Okay. There's our little shortcut. <clears throat> that cool. So, we're probably gonna die. That's okay. Exhibit A. That's okay, though. We've made some more exploration. Let's do that again. It's cool. Even if we don't get the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring tonight, maybe we, we'll try it one more time. We don't get the ring tonight, then we'll just keep moving on up. And... <coughs> ah, hell. Okay, so we aggroed both of them. That's okay. Now, they'll actually turn back. Oh, this one's going all the way. There he goes. I don't think they actually go... Yep, okay, so let's just go ahead. Rest here and go back again. There we go, they should be gone. Back to whence ye came. So the boulder splattered us. Maybe that'll give us a chance to go see Siegbro then. I don't know. I know I'm probably obsessing a little bit over the subplot, but Siegmeyer's is easily one of the coolest. Oh yeah, it's already triggered that. Droop and droop. Ever since Havel, I've always wanted to work on my backstabs a little bit. There we go. Drop him like a rock. And I love how you can actually hear the boulders. Even all the way down here, you can still hear them. That's really cool how uh, FromSoft put all that attention to detail in here. Now you guys got to see what a mimic was like. He's a little prick. And at some point, I still need to go find a scimitar so I can start leveling that to a plus 10. So I'll need that for Quilike's Fury Sword. I can see why E&B really loves this level, because it really... It's just a test. It's one big ol' stinking test for... Any kind of player. Oop, oop. 
juicy. I also need to work on my skills for Speed Souls. <clears throat> yes, that will be coming. Speed Souls is happening. Eat it. Get wrecked. <clears throat> hey, look at that. I'm actually making progress. Minimal, but still. I actually wonder if the serpents turn the pass, the handle, in order to cause the boulders to come a-flying. Sony got hit. It wasn't me. Smacky. Ah, sucker. I'm not too comfortable. So, Siegbro might have to wait. And as much as it behooves me to say that. Let's go ahead and chug that. Endurance needs to be a little bit higher in order to... Oh! He has actually done it. So that's gonna go there. Let's just wait a second. That's gonna go flying out there. Do we need to go down here? No. Back this way, I think. No. Maybe. Hang on. No, that's gonna. That takes to you to where we freed Big Hat Logan. Okay. And I think the elevator that we need to go to is a little further up. So, that will now go straight ahead. I'll take that, thank you very much. Boop. There we go. And I think this, yes, this is where we need to go. Um, so before we do that, I think we need to go up a level to take out that sorcerer um, serpent thing. And then we'll go back down after we take this guy out, because we did have the Lightning Serpent. Somewhere around here. Oh, never mind, okay. So we need to... Yank this one more way. That will do some stacking, I think. Ooh, ooh, hang on. I'll go straight down there. <laughs> so let's drop a few. start with two. There we go. And then we'll just speed run down here. I'm pretty sure it needs to drop down the hole in order for us to make to get to this covetous ring. I don't know to what magnitude. Oh, I hate you. Now the Mimic's not going to come back because we've already killed it. Mimics are non-respawning. The other thing, I don't know. Um, oh, hey. Oh, so it broke through the wall. Cool. And this 
should be it. Ha ha ha! The covetous gold serpent ring, baby, we got it. Now I am one happy knight. What is all this, though? Whoa. Oh, okay, so that's just the wall. Alright, so I think we're actually gonna change. We wanna keep Havel's ring, the ring of steel protection. We wanna make sure we do that. Um, here we go. Let's go look at this really quickly. The serpent is an imperfect dragon and symbol of the undead. Its habit of devouring prey even larger than itself has led an association with gluttony. This gold ring engraved with the serpent boosts where its items discovery so that more items can be amassed. Um, we didn't look at... We looked... I think, yeah, we did... Okay, now we did look at this last time. Because we turned off the rusted iron ring. Okay, cool. So now we're back up to snuff. So what I'll probably do if we can't get to Anor Orlando tonight... Is I will... Probably do some farming. I'll probably go back to the depths and do some farming for souls for humanity. Or go back to other areas. Because once we get to Anor Orlando, to be honest with y'all, um, I don't know what souls are gonna be like, and we're gonna need humanity to summon Solaire. Because we're gonna need him for the boss that will be coming up in Anor Orlando, I'll tell you what. I don't know why my southern just came out like that. That's okay, we're moving on. <sighs> I'm not sure how big Anor or Anor Londo. No, Anor is massive. Um, Sense Fortress is. But I think I'd like to get somewhere. There is a cage that actually is a shortcut. Yeah, you come on back now. progress. We got the we got the ring. That's what we, I'm, my main goal was. I just got a little bit greedy. I mean, I could probably fire bomb them. <clears throat> I know some people seem to like when I get it to my my annoyed quiet when I die like a fool. I'm still trying to figure out the uh, significance of why Sen was backed by, was guarded by snakes. I am not sure what that's about. Um, there is no, as far as I can tell, there's no affiliation with any of the old gods. Definitely not Gwen. Um, and they're not K. I don't know if they're demons. If they are demons, then they're associated with Isolith. But if this really is a proving ground, one would figure that would be set up by Gwyn. Because that's what Anor Orlando is. It's, I mean, it's the city of the gods, so they want to make sure their people are godlike. Or at least the undead are well on the way to being gods. I'm probably reading too much into it, but then again, as I've said a million times over... Whoop! Um... Where... Oh, that was foolish of me. Where is our serpent dude? Did we die so many times? No, they, that was not something in Dark Souls 1. All enemies will respawn no matter what. This is not like DS2 where... After X amount of time. I don't know if that's the same case in DS3 either. I could be... I'm not 100%. Yep. 
get run over. Something got hit. Oh, that's cool. I can now see what that little window is that shows the elevator. Oh, right across the butt. <laughs> Preparation for the anal rodeo. Yes, that is the nickname for Anne Orlando. I know, not too... Can he do it again? Can he do it again? How does he do it? How does he do it? Died. Whew. Yeah, I guess you die enough times, eventually you start learning the tricks of the trade. Let's not be too greedy here. Maybe actually, maybe we can kite out one of the serpent dudes. not. Damn, that would been good. <clears throat> uh, my fire pyromancy skills are not good enough. Okay, so let's... both the mage and yep, got them both. Up a lot more estrus than I would have liked. Okay, that's just my echoes. That's just creepy. Grab that. Cool. Got my blood stain back. So there you can see here, that's what's causing all the rocks to drop. Oh my god, we actually... Need to go. Yes, it is. He has done it. We made it to the bonfire. I'm now. I'm not gonna level up. I'm not going to um, human up just yet because I want to kind of learn the lay of the land very quickly and figure out where I am. Then, because once we get to the top. Then I'll have the ability to... Oh, okay. That's easy then. Cool. So let's go ahead then and go back to the bonfire. Because I do want to level up. They're not... Yeah, I, well, I do want to level. But actually, first let's kill this sucker. Or 
Actually, no, it's, we got two Titanite shards. Come at me, bro. That was not who I was expecting. Wow. We have another Black Knight. I should have loved it. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's a Black Knight. Now you know why I decided not to level. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and get out of here for one second. What's across the way here? Besides a face full of poison. Let's see if it's there. I didn't see any cages, so I'm guessing the shortcut. I missed it entirely. But that's okay. <laughs> Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <clears throat> okay. So let's let's get serious for a second. Let's. We are on the one yard line. We're almost at the boss, which now we could probably take the boss out. Fair enough, but I do want to be human for that because we have an amazing tank of an NPC that we can summon. But once again, I just want to get the lay of the land and I'm going to that firebombing. Game. I don't think we're going to go for our bloodstain, and we do will have a chance to take out that... Dude. Okay, um... Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and hume it up really quickly. Some of my precious humanity, but I think we will get some humanity from, uh... Let's go ahead and crutch. We'll human up. Yes. Now, this um this NPC that we're gonna summon uh for the boss fight, Iron Tarkus, he is he is, without a doubt, probably one of the most badass NPCs summons in the game. He is written exclusively for this boss fight. I don't think he can be summoned ever again for any other boss battle. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and leave our bloodstain there. I'm not fighting that dude until I maybe get Quelex Fury Sword. And actually, something I will talk about later on is about the giants, about how they're pretty much just been used for manual labor. But we'll talk about that when we get to uh, Anne Armando, because we have some other characters that we will be introducing ourselves to, one of which is a giant. And this is actually where... I mean, this is the elevator shortcut. Let's, let's examine this for a sec. We got two elevators here. Need key. Oh. Maybe. Okay. Not sure what we need where the key is for that, but that probably is our descendant key. Oh, who? Ho oh, ho. No ma'am. Hang on. Let's be a little bit careful now. Oh, hi.
Yeah. <laughs> Get wrecked. More Titanite. That's good for us. Um, is that the way to the boss battle, I think? No. Okay, so before we go any... I think this is what we need to do. I think this is where we can summon... There it is. Iron Tarkus. But before we do that, let's just take a moment and look at this whole surrounding area. So, down below, there's the first bell tower that we see through the Undead Parish. So, there's the Berg. There's my bloodstain. We're going to ignore that. Um, there's the Duke's Archives right up there. We'll get to that after Anor Orlando. Far above us is the entrance to Anor Orlando. Here's the Breast of Sense Fortress. Down there is Firelink. Somewhere. Probably... Well, that, oh, that forest, that's all dark root down there, so probably somewhere around here. But just look at this view as far as the eye can see. I mean, look at the attention to detail that Miyazaki and FromSoft developed just below the clouds. Now, you're probably wondering what's down there. Well, we'll actually be able to explore that area after Anor Londo. Need humanity? Yeah, you do. We want to summon Iron Targus. This guy is incredible. He actually has the ability pretty much... Just turn the iron golem into mincemeat. But go ahead and give him a proper bow. I mean, look at this dude. He's a badass. So let me grab him. Make sure he doesn't fall to his death, because that would suck. Hello, Tarkus. Here we go, to our boss fight. Tarkus, get in here. Oh, so we threw the firebombs too. Okay, so, new plan of attack. We destroy the fire bomber before we... we find the fire bomber, we make, we give him hell. We need to find the fire bomber before we do that. That was embarrassing. Come at me. We'll, we'll tango. Oh, you scumbag. Take 
that. I had no idea the firebomb could hit me from so high. It could hit me so far as the, um... So there's nothing here. It's gotta be topside. So, before we human up again, we need to find that fire bomber. Because I think he's not respawning. It's the last thing I want to do before we face off against Tarkus. And it's not the giant that... got a massive reach. Eat it, sucker. Give me that. I'll take more time. Yeah, it's gotta be at the very top of this tower. I'm just hoping... Oh, there it is. in the butt. Ooh. Oh, you must went for the butt stomp there, son. I kind of feel bad killing a giant. I mean, he's just doing his job. Oopsie. We'll go... Yeah, I believe this giant's not respawning, so we might... Homeward. Bone. Oh! So I believe now we're safe. So let's go ahead and Homeward Bone back here. And then human up. I think we'll actually use one of my twin humanities, because why not? And now we can summon Tarkus. And then onward and upward we go. We could kindle this as well. You know what? Yeah, let's go to kindle. We have even more Estus. There we go. Yeah, we should be able to take out the Iron Golem now without too much of an issue, now that we've killed the Fire Bomber. So, let's talk- so let's just talk a little bit quickly about the Giants. I know that has to do it next episode. So we've got this guy here, throwing the rock. We have another giant that just tried to firebomb the crap out of us and succeeded several times. See, yeah, not respawning. We're okay. Another giant was seen opening the gate to Sed's fortress. So, we're. It doesn't say, at least in Dark Souls 1, how um, the giants came to Lordran. The fact that the giant didn't respawn ought to show right there that it's not undead. But there are giants elsewhere in the game that... So, who knows? Maybe the giants are immortal like some of the everlasting dragons like Seed. Seed's definitely not undead. We know that for a fact. Even though Seed... Well, we'll go more back into the concept of Seed than the souls. That's a different story. We want to wrap up Sense Force before we talk about Souls, because that's going to be a chunk of what we talk about at Anne Orlando. I mean, because it's the Seed of the Gods. It is the Seed of the Gods that replaced the um, Ancient Dragons. So why wouldn't we talk about the Souls?
Come on, Tarkus. There it is. Let's try this again. Thank you, Tarkus. Now, let's actually go ahead and try this again. Now, there's actually a way to summon him and get through the fog wall before the boss fight. So, the Iron Golem does not have a larger hitbox. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and try and get Tarkus to get his ass over here. He's stuck at the fog wall. Of course he is. Tarkus, get over here, you nuke. Look at that damage that Tarkus is doing. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and step back and let Tarkus do his thing. Oop. Tarkus! Do your thing, boss. I'm not doing too much damage. Oop. Dark is still going crazy. What are you doing? Oh, you stun locked him. Shit, look at my damage compared to him. Damn, Tarkus. You, you got Done them again. Oh, don't go for the grab. Come on, Tarkus. He has done it. Thank you, Tarkus. We got the core of the Iron Golem and our humanity. Nice chunk of souls. 40,000, I'll take that. So now, we are ready for our next part of the journey, my friends. Achievement unlocked. Reach and Orlando. Welcome to the City of the Gods. Now, if we want to go back to Sense Fortress, we can just, quote-unquote, talk to this Batwing demon, and that will take us back to Sense Fortress. But the first thing we need to do is find a bonfire. But let's just stop and take a look at this whole area. I mean, look at this area. Is it, I mean, it's beautiful. It's far beyond the wall in Lordran. Now... From according to the interview in the Design Works book with Miyazaki, um, this whole area was modeled after, was inspired by the temple at Milan in Italy. You can kind of tell with the buttresses and everything like that. Now this area looks confusing, but like all areas in Dark Souls, it's fairly straightforward. This big galoot though, not so much. But here's something I want to point out. When we kill most enemies... They... They die. Just flat out. No... 
Some of them have death rattles, but most of them just kind of just shrivel up and give us our souls. Good lord. This guy, think about the previous deaths that we've done with, oh baby, we staggered him. Notice how they kind of explode in a bright visage of light. Oh boy. Don't mind me. That's not one, but two. We'll come back to you later. Yeah, I think what we're going to do tonight is we're just going to, at this point, is we're just going to find a bonfire, rest, I'll do some leveling before I call it a session. Because it's pretty late, and I want to try and get a little bit of sleep. Oh, we found it. And we found another firekeeper. So before we call it a night, let's go ahead and just talk to her really quickly. Let me get an introduction. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. So, there we go. So now since we can reinforce our Estes flask, that also you know that she's a bonfire keeper. So let's go and see if she has anything more to say. What is it? What am I? Well... I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. You also want to say to me? The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. So there is a massive piece of lore right there. As we discussed, that since they will never, no firekeeper should be able to meet because if they depart their flames within their chosen areas, like Anne Orlando, Firelink Shrine, um, and Quileg, um, the flames will die. They are linked to these, and never the two shall meet. So I find that very fascinating about the firekeepers. Fire rest. Now is the time. That is, after all what the bonfire is for. If you require okay, so it, that is. So, and here's the other thing, speaking of bonfires, is notice that these are bones with a sword sticking out. These bones, these are all remnants of the undead, of previous undead who failed to link the fire, and the sword is what's left them kindling the f dying flames. That's why you see in the beginning intro a sword going into the uh, embers for the honoring of the undead. So the flame, this is all remnants of the first flame and why it never departs except for if the bonfire dies. So that's just something I want y'all to think about until our next episode. But this is a perfect place to stop for the evening. So thank you all so very much for watching. And thank you much so much for everybody who's left your comments. If you have some feedback, some strats, some tactics that you think would be good, please let me know within reason. I read every comment, and I try to respond to every comment, but please no spoilers, because this is a blind playthrough. And also a big thank you once again to Christoph Frey for being the sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. If you like excellent horror games, that focus more on the ambience and the storyline and the plot and the character development, check the link in the description below. He's got some very excellent work. So, of course, with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my Temporally Down Twitch page, and if you're so morbidly fascinated, my Patreon. Otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic night, and I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace.